Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day or night in Jesus. Thank you so much for being with us. We're in our journey through Proverbs. We're in Lesson 59. We're in Proverbs 21, verse 7. So it's taken us almost three lessons per chapter. Christian living in the Old Testament. Let's get started. Live the wise life. Proverbs will teach us how that we might be throughly furnished, not just the, the high points, but every part of our life under the submission of God by his spirit and knowing it by his word. The robbery of the wicked, 21-7, shall destroy them because you reap what you sow. It's going to happen because they refuse to do judgment. They're not going to make wise decisions. Judgment, so many faceted word, you know, God's judgments. Basically, judgment's a decision. He's decided to do these things. Um, but a lot of nuances in the word judgment. Verse 8, the way of man is froward, wicked. Froward is another. It's not forward. It's froward. It's, it means like deceptive wickedness. It's froward and strange. Boy, isn't that true? Look at the movies that come out of Hollywood. Look at the songs that come out. The way of man is forward and strange. But as for the pure, his work is right. So we need to be pure in heart. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. Whatever he does, he's going to do it with the right motivation. His work's going to be right. Verse 9, it is better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. Do you think some of Solomon's 300 wives, 700 concubines, Egyptian wife may have had something to do with that passage of scripture? It's better to dwell in a corner of the housetop than with a brawling woman in a wide house. I'm thinking of the taming of the shrew by Shakespeare. I've actually recommended that in marriage counseling before. Verse 10, the soul of the wicked desireth evil. Now, our hearts are deceptive and desperately wicked above all things. Who can know it? So, so this is why we need a new heart. This is what the Holy Ghost is. It gives a new heart, the born-again experience. you still got the same cardia, you know, but it's a new spiritual heart. The heart is another interesting study in Scripture. And uh, so the, the heart of the wicked desires evil. His, and his neighbor findeth no favor in his eyes. So a wicked hearted person is going to hate their neighbor. They're just going to, because they're wicked. And they're seeing everything through wicked glasses, a wicked worldview. Verse 11, when the scorner is punished, the simple is made wise. The scorner. And so this is one who despises wisdom. The scorner is punished. The simple is made wise. People observe this. And when the wise is instructed, he receiveth knowledge. So a wise person will learn from other people. Some good and some bad. Emerson said, every man is my superior in some way, and that I learn of him. Verse 12, the righteous man wisely considereth the house of the wicked. Okay, so you've got $100 billion, but you're wicked. You're going to go to hell. Your heart could stop at any moment. But God, and I'm not saying everybody's worth $100 billion, but I'm saying it does wisely consider the house of the wicked. But God overthroweth the wicked for their wickedness. And this is going to have its ultimate end in the book of Revelation. Verse 13, whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. Read Luke 16. The rich man in hell, Lazarus. That's the classic rich man in Lazarus verse. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard. A gift in secret pacifieth anger. Isn't that true? You give somebody a gift in secret, pacifieth anger. And a reward in the bosom, strong wrath. So somebody's really angry at you, you give. It kind of heaps coals of fire on their head, and usually they back off at some point. Verse 15, it is joy to the just to do judgment. Now, it, see, again, it doesn't mean judgment like to bring judgment on somebody. It means to make right decisions, to judge between right and wrong. So it's joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. Law of God, you might enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. You might think you're getting away with it. You're getting away with nothing. 
Verse 16, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, knowing the ways of God, shall remain in the congregation of the dead. As Jesus said, let the dead bury their dead. Verse 17, he that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth, if all you've got your hobbies and your vacations, eventually you're going to be poor. Even if you're poor in spirit at first, eventually you'll be poor all the way around. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. That's not talking about oil like Arab oil and all this. It's talking about extras. Loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Verse 18, the wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous. You can't really just apply this to this, but it's kind of, he who knew no sin became sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him as the serpent was lifted up in the wilderness, John 3.15. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous. So eventually the righteous is going to come up and the transgressor for the upright be a ransom. Verse 19, some good more marriage counseling. It is better to dwell in the wilderness than with a contentious and an angry woman. Hmm. A lot we could go into. We could do whole lessons just on that. All right. Verse 20, there is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. You got to save. Long story there because we know of inflation. Verse 21, he that followeth after righteousness, mer excuse me, let me start over. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor. So he that followeth after righteousness and mercy, doing the right thing and showing mercy to people, mercy in, in giving, mercy in other ways, emotions, findeth life, righteousness, and honor. I love verse 22. A wise man scaleth the city of the mighty and casteth down the strength of the consonants thereof. So somebody's just all this, a wise man will figure out how to get around that. Love you. Let's stop there. Live the wise life. Check out our other videos. We'll talk with you later in Jesus' name.